scary for Hikori to uh, to pick this one up. But again, I think it's a necessity. Still, though, uh, Execration for me, they have a much better uh, make or break Hikori. And we're already seeing Vitaly taking, uh, taking a big beating. So... Execration, they understand their strength and they understand until like level 3 they can't do much though. Top lane, Gardic is being burned down. He doesn't have the Heavenly Grace just yet and Execration, get a kill. That Swarm minus armor, it can very Alos. quickly add up bottom. That's a bottom kill right for Vitaly and Theoliker and almost getting a connection as well onto Abek. They just, just slowly burned him down. The Corrosive Poison is a bit too much to work with. For you. Hakori have been hits here. It is a very brawly lane, but it's not necessarily a kill. Mid but lane. in the mid lane, analog, he's about to drop, and yes, he will. Bob will hunt him down. You came to That's without the traps. That should never, never happen without traps. Bottom lane, Abang in trouble as well. They've got the stun out, and that's a shaman Deny. dead, but it's denied by Palos. Out. He is that's taking a low, but they will finally connect onto the Venomancer for the kill. The Olaker, he does not have a Karakos available. Palos has his hook. Already just needs to land the stun and needs to dodge the hook somehow. Oh, Arbing oh, walks in between. Take the me, Oker take me. Probably, probably the next had all happens to the best of us. But they've got Tino in readiness. Uh, he's got himself an e he's got himself an extra drum. Sorry, an extra crown top of the drum and body blocks coming out from the Oliker. Tino stops to right click and he's gonna end up burnt by himself as the Oliker walks in with the carapace three points in it shanks might be a second echo slam nice damage bob for the double the side blade spill will take down lumiere as the all, all of it is gonna be a problem he wants to chase but there's a trap that's gonna be slowing vitaly down nope they're not gonna pop it at all they're just gonna let it through opping is still helling you help Somebody help! Anybody! Nobody! Oh, my friend. Uh, Nobody you, to help just, him. You just Corey to get the next assassin already has the fluffy hat, so just buy a four staff in this game. I think it's a necessity against the uh against the shaker. Trouble. And against There's the the shaker. Oh he misses the echo, but it doesn't matter. Bob still has the damage for it. Oh, that was so close. A uh, flame break pushed the puck away, so yep. it, it's not like he missed his uh, his teammate. Was like, nah, we don't need that. Just keep it to yourself. No, but the fl flame break pushed him closer to the echo, but he got himself to jump away. He jaunted away from it. Though oh. in the top lane, there's going to be a fight. A weaver. He does get the chance to time lapse himself to safety. The Oliker in between. He's going to stun the Pudge, and Pudge has that fresh Aghanims. Look at Nick's assassin drop. That is a lot of damage. This is the big threat factor now. TA still farming, and Aghanim's Pudge is online. How can Hakori respond to this? Uh, they have to play around the Plague Wards. That's it. That's why Execration are just trying to claim as much of the map as they can when there are no Plague Wards. Because it's a very, very tough for Hakori to fight if there aren't any. Hold on, three bugs. We were going to get stunned, but there's the save from Guarding on the high ground. They're going to coil onto two as well as Analog's going to be taking down the Shaman. They're going to be poking the Shanks. Shaker as well. They want to take him down. I'm going to make sure that at least he falls, even if they cannot worry about the TA. Vessel onto Palos. Palos going to be going for the hook onto the Weaver. Weaver barely getting out, out of the way. But look at the damage. Palos is too big right now. He will finally fall. Ball for the kill. And there's a Another one, the Weaver is dead as well, and so does the Oliker. And that is a big, big. Oh, Even nice all the from a bit soft. He's gonna fall behind in scanning an analog. Oh, he's an easy kill. He does have himself a blink, but uh, you cannot beat Aubang and his quick fingers. Yes. Uh, very nicely done. Uh, as soon as they got back up, they started running towards the bottom lane. They understood that that's off Roshan. That's like, that's like clearing a camp. The speed that they're taking this Roshan is just impeccable. Vitaly, gonna get hooked by Palos. Does get the Nova off, and it's gonna be doing a bit of damage, but uh, to no avail. It's really not gonna be an issue for Execration. Not really gonna slow down their push either. 
no one to capitalize on it. And this is Execration are doing such a good job. They're constantly taking away Hakori's ability to fight. You take away the puck, there is no lockdown, there is no one to finish you off. You take away the Veno, there is no damage. Hakori are not gonna fight you. So Hakori really need to get together somehow. They need an area controlled by those plague wards, but there needs to be defense for their Veno. You cannot just let oh, it be. Alone. In the bot lane. This is a very important pickoff if they can get it on time. He's still He's living fat. with 500 HP, but Theolakur is gonna die in instead. And Garnet can't get there on time. And Lumiere is a bit late for the party. Still wants to go in, and they will get the kill. They'll get the silence on Shaman as well. Arbang, I thought he dodged it for a moment, but no. Hori already setting up a defense here. theolikar has been spotted. Bob knows the Nyx Assassin's location roughly. Now they're going to be finding it as well as they put themselves a bit more uh, detection. But Tino's already coming in. And there we go. They're going to take away the Troublemaker to start things off with. In the bot lane, another fight onto Palos, who's trying to desperately push this bottom wave out. And again, oh, here comes Lumiere. The Weaver is on his way. Abeng is also here. There's the bugs flying in. It will not connect on the Shaman. But again, the Silence Analog will find the Shaman. But Shanks is there. Abeng can't do anything to save Palos. Lumiere going for the dive. There's going to be a stun coming up. Bob is TPing in and wants to get the damage out. And they've got the puck control. Analog getting trapped. And there's an echo from Shanks. And no time lapse. Disaster strikes for Hokori. An execration. They're wiping the floor with Hokori's heroes. Uh, Gardic is gone. Um, Christian, I think they would have gotten more out of that one oh, if Palos. the uh, bullwhip wasn't used. He's been found. They've got the bugs connected. The Olicar's gonna be here as well. And there's That's nothing he can do. There is Aubing, but Aubing's also gonna get stunned up by the Carapace. The Olicar might be the one to die on this one. And another stack given away. He needs to get the Shaman. Shaman right next to him. The hook will oh, connect as well. And the put they got the dust and everything. Shank, Aubing, Palos. The triplet. Working wonders. Good night, Garden. No damage other than the Weaver, and yeah, even yeah. Lumiere is is not that great in the uh, in the right league department. Yeah. So what Hakori need to do is catch the Shadow Shaman, catch the Shaker, like and use caught. the Poison Nova. This is a very fight. crucial fight that they need to win. The Olicar is going to get the stun on Tino first, but the Bob flicking on Omni Knight Garnic is now Paulo's charging it as well, and the BKBs will soak up the Poison Nova. They've lost three already, and this is just not a fight at all for Hakori. You see, Tino gets the chance for a small moment there that guys i've got information on all of them can you just jump in bob does exact exactly that he just goes straight onto garlic blows him almost up forces up the beat they had no chances of getting on top of him Mier onto Tino. This is a good chance as he's completely isolated from the rest of the heroes. These are kills that they need. That's 600 gold for a kill. One piece closer to his BKB. Abeng going aggressively and he's gonna get the Hex. He's got the wards placed down. Shackles are there as well. Hollows gonna be following up. A Gardic's gonna be there. And Lumiere looking for the kill on the Shaman. Will be able to get that one as well. Shanks is dead. They've got three in now. now Maybe they even four. Up. And this is the fight that Hakori can finally take. They started off with the big one. And can they get Palo? So close to getting it, but 120 is going to be more than enough for Palos to live. To move. So you you're setting back. up for a fight. It's not going to happen. Yeah, get back or get in. Tino's doing scouting work with Napalm. He's like, all right, I'm going to make sure you're not in the back line. This, uh, the wards are down. Lumiere with the DD. This is the best fight that Hokori could look for, and it needs to succeed now. And they will find for the first one, Execration. They're going to be regrouping. Vitaly with a chase. Lumiere coming in from the side as well. Bob on the low ground. Coil misses. Very close call. Still on the chase, continues to go forward. Lumiere finds a trap for himself, gets hit for the mail strike. There's a vicious stun from Shanks to follow up to connect onto two. And they found him, but the hook save from Palos and the Ogre Seal taught him on top of the hook. So he's flying while he's being hooked. But Shanks is still gonna go down no matter what. Analog still can stand still. But they're, they're looking the for Tino. They've the got Tino. Though. Tino, the perfect target to go for. He goes for the BKB first. He surprises Hokori. And they will take down him. But the coil is on to two. Aubing is also very low in HP. Bugs will be flying in. They've got Aubing controlled with it. But he has the backup of his allies. And they've lost the Nyx Assassin. Tino was faster. Tino was smarter. He, he embraces the entire team of Hokori. Just to get the jump in first. Vitaly needs to get out of there. 
being chased by Polos, but the BKB, unbelievable, this pug just single-handedly nuking them all down. And that is a Roche kill for Dire Bob with the snatch, but that is also... Like, uh, it's it's insane. Hakori, they had the chance there to, uh, to fight only Bob. Caster Not cursed. Fight anyone. He almost caster cursed Bob there. He did get uh, did get initiated on. He's gonna lose the Aegis here. 80 HP is gone. In. Malos charging in once again. He's done this a million times before. He will continue to do so again. He finds Vitaly, the target that he wanted as well. They do get the Nova out. It doesn't connect onto the TA. Palos is down. Lumiere with a thousand gold picked up from this kill. And if only they had a basher or something. But they don't. They have no way to cancel teleports. And a Gory on the... He knows doesn't want to even give them the chance for it. But he is scouted. He is spotted there. Nice play the one at the front. Trap's gonna be right next to the Weaver. Lake Wards are giving them a bit of an advantage here. Analog onto the back line, looking for Aubing. Aubing down. That's gonna be the first kill. Bob's also dropping very low, but he will be able to jump out in time. He's also teleporting all the way home from that, and they will find Palos, but Shex with the Echo! Shex does a lot of good work here, but it's just not enough. They will take down the Nyx Assassin, but outside of that, he's the only one to fall from that Echo damage, and they heal themselves back up, and that they will hold. It, it is very, very tough for, for Execration to lock him down from 100 to 0. Something like I that. I think they can do it. Weaver is getting a bit soft here. They even used the Echo Slam for it, and that's an opening. Bob actually just jumped into this one. They can target him right now, and he's forced to use his BKB. Bardic on the back. The Olicar coming in as well with the stun onto the Bat Rider, and onto the Weaver. They go. Weaver dropping very low on HP. He's down to 700, but now they've got themselves the next Assassin. The Aeon is well Bob. They're going to stun on Bob. Bob's going to be in trouble. Bob has nothing no to live with. He's gone. Bob down for the first time this game. Lumiere will be able to take this one. Hakori pushing the advantage. They got the biggest kill out of this game. Lumiere with 1,250 gold plus 1.4k shared for the team. But this is still not over. Palos on the hunt. Tino is coming in as well. Very more. close to it. Gardic's going to be there with the flame break. Tossing onto him. Ah, bank down. Sniped by Analog. And they will kill Gardic at the same time. Abeng was so separated from the rest of the team and he just got caught the hook almost there as well. But the Puck's designed to stay on the spot. He's got a face shift. The Olicar's coming in as well. They need Lumiere. Lumiere they need backup back for him. They need help for Analog. He's gonna get lassoed up. He's controlled. He's killed. He's dead on the spot. The Olicar's the dead. Coming. Lumiere's too late. He's too late for this one. The gold lead continues to increase just because they're not getting any farm. And Execration, now they're hunting. This is something that Hakori oh, might not here. They've got the catch. Gardic is running after him and trying to get the save. But they're pulling him even further away. The Olicar, is he going to be able to save this Weaver? No! He's going to have to buy back for this one too. But they're already dying on the side of Hakori. There's the Poison Nova. Analog in between. He's not buying Weaver's back. Not buying, he's not buying back. He, uh, they gave up. Now he's, no, okay, he's not giving up. He's coming in now. They waited for the punch to commit a bit deeper into the face for Palos to die. Maybe now they can get more, but it really needs to pay off because that took a long time for the buyback to kick in. And this Ancient is wide open. Wards are pummeling it. Creeps are hitting it. Creeps are still hitting it. Nobody getting the aggro off of them at this time, current time. And now Lumiere, he's about to drop as well. Does get the time lapse off, but Tino's gonna be right there on top still of him. And he's gonna be burning this Weaver. Is down, dieback is a certainty, and that, should be game. Four versus two, and Hakori kind of defenseless. Analog trying his best to buy some hope, but two minutes while your ancient is still being hit. Vitaly's dropping low. Tino with his BKP burning up the worm. And this Venomancer is about to drop, but he does have a Lotus Orb to dispel. The vessel is there. They're actually going to kill Tino here. They're actually looking to kill him here, but it's gonna be enough damage. Doesn't look like it will. Puck is down as well, and that is the end of game number one. Oh, what what an ending! But them controlling the Weaver—that was the the main thing. I kind of thought this might be a uh, a bad move for Execration, but with the refresher on the Bat Rider. Just Hukori's game impossible. I think now with Puck being against the bat, you actually have a chance of this Puck getting uh, getting strong. As soon as you see that the two supports are just focusing so much on getting those bounties, you know that the lane isn't going well. So they're just trying to get some scraps of gold around the map. And all three of the cores of Hukori are uh, topping the CS chart. Gardic was trying to TP mid, but he's a bit too late for it because Bob will able to get the first blood onto Analog. 
They're turning their attentions towards the Shaman, but he's also very healthy on HP right now. And Albank does not... Or is he trying to show that he's not afraid? Because this is the second game in a row that you're, uh, you're dying. It just shouldn't happen. Yeah. Bottom lane. There's a bit of threat definitely under it. Palos will be snapped in half by Gardic with Vitaly following it up as well with the... Uh, looks like the shield pop will take the kill. Meanwhile, Shanks does find a kill on the Theolica in the top lane. Look at her, the uh, the Batrider obviously can pull her with the lasso, but uh, it looked like Tino was trampling her with the back legs rather than the uh, than the front ones here on the Primal Beast, so yep. in the end, the DLT doesn't really do anything. That is a nice set of kills going in the way of Execration. Getting themselves top up lane. to six now on Theolica. He has to pop the Tombstone, he's got no heal. He's got raindrops, but raindrops ain't really gonna keep him alive either. He goes down, but so does Palos. Analog and Vitaly using... True, so the ideal scenario would be if he comes towards the tail end of the fight and uh, kind of cleans up. They might still get him. He's right on next to the stairs. And he's gonna get a connection here. Vitaly with the second one, they pop the tombstone. Oh, he doesn't get it, but he's got Swashbuckle and Shield Crash. Nice roll from Shanks to buy time for Tino to escape. And Vitaly misses both of his abilities on Tino. I'm and turning. now comes Abeg. Hey, they got a perfect chance to turn this around. The wards are placed down. They've got Gardic popping his ulti, trying to keep the Pango alive with some extra heals. Shields on cooldown, no mana left, and he's down. Shanks will fall as well, but Tino lives, and Bob is here to secure at least one more for Tino. So the Primal Beast lives and gets two, two carries. It's a thousand gold. It's a big difference uh, for the uh, for the current part of the game and a beautiful scan, beautiful scan. They know exactly what's going on. Yeah, the scan is better than the smoke itself. So uh, maybe Gardic is the one to pop them. He, he can at least run away if they initiate. They've got the vision, they see Shanks here. Analog might get baited into seeing a lonely hero. There's another one, but the Olicor is going to be here as well. They are stacking surround in the Earth Spirit. Silence is about to run out. Ah, bang, Bob, everyone coming in. Analog going to get the kill. Going to get out of there, though. He can. So Gardic and the Olicor might be the ones really to But here comes Lumiere. Look at the Medusa charging into battle. And Lumiere for a kill on Abang, chasing Tino. Vitaly cannot quite catch him. He's not got the movement speed required for it. And this entire zombie upping himself with as much mana as possible. Abang, I think they've scouted. Actually, they did not see him go into the fog, but they saw him reappear, and they're going to jump him. Hex comes out, there's a charge from Tino, and there's the trample damage. Pango taken a lot. His swashbuckle got cancelled by the instant ulti from Tino, but the coil's gonna be there as well, but the damage coming in right away. And they also got Palos in the middle of all of this, and they will take down Shanks. That's gonna be the first one. Tino about to probably got the lasso coming in as well, and Batrider can't do anything because it's purged away by Gardic and Okoria full control. And they're gonna lose Bob in this fight as well, but there's damage coming in, and they will try to respond onto Hakori. Palos on the run, Vitaly to take him down, and here we see why the PL is so soft in these fights with just the defusal. He has a Manta now. Yep, and he shows himself in mid, and Tino gonna be walking, and the Rolling Thunder comes out, but the blink from Vitaly, the sun's gonna be there, and Palos again. This PL just constantly getting bullied this game. That's a fifth death for the Phantom Lancer. And he's just not going anywhere in net worth. Now it's 3,000 difference to Lumiere. Oh boy. Creation might have a bit of better control in general. This game is now pretty Hokori favored, but this is a good fight that they can take as long as Bob survives with the BKB. Tino controlling the puck, the lasso is there. Gardic's not gonna be close enough for the He's save. He alive. does not get the shield in time, or does he? Puck able to run away, and Shanks with the roll in. Is it enough? Yes, it is. They finally close him out, and that's a big kill to take. Palos almost dies as Lumiere is focusing him down. But that's a massive kill for Execration, Ooh. a very very needed kill, but now they mustn't lose. Creep Wave Cutter, Tino, Analog has found him. There's a BKB available on the Primal Beast, and Analog uses the coil already. And Tino fights back, but how much damage does he have? He trades a couple hits with him. They are finishing off the bottom tier one tower, maybe getting a kill onto the other one. Analog, Tino, Tino, did he extend too far? Yes, he did. There's the kill for Analog. 
He did not that even have so a bad. TP anymore. Like, he, I think he had a cooldown on it or something, but he just stayed to fight. And then when he wants to... Oh, when do you need me to go? Green track's already fallen. And then the big question is, do they stay for the melee? Looks like they have, they're in no hurry. They're swapping Lincoln since and Lotus is on top of the Medusa. And here goes Shanks. There's the initiation. Kick back. It will kick Shanks back as well. Teen over the charge. They get the gaze off. But it's not going to stun anybody else except for the Shaman and the Primal Beast. So even if they don't get the Batrider in it, they're fine with it. They don't worry. Palos is trying to fight for his life. They will take down Theoliker. They're looking for Gardic. Gardic's ulti will pop. Medusa getting hexed up inside the wards. Abeng die back. And that is going to be Vitali falling as well. Maybe they can get this kill onto the Pango. Very low on HP. Analog's going to be here as well with a coil. And Palos will secure it with Bob for another kill. But the PL to drop next triple for Lumiere and the melee racks to fall and this is just one of those games where you look at PL pretty Palos has a Scotty but he cannot attack the Medusa just the butterfly is too big of an issue right now and Palos doesn't even have a shard to constantly spam out the illusions we're seeing that he wants it but he can't even kill the uh, the Medusa illusion at this point yeah the Medusa illusions are beating the PL illusions there's the lasso. Lotus up to follow it up. The coils beautifully set up as well. They're all stacked up. They're all clumped up. Execration. They have a masquerade that they're digging for themselves. As a Corey, take three and secure the mid lane for themselves. And this is going to be Tino down as well for the fourth kill. The voice line spam. It kicks in. Hakori feeling themselves right now. And her back into the tier fours. It didn't yeah. work. Right now, you have to dodge Lumiere. You can't kill him. And there's just so many links. And Vitaly's gonna get the one hexed up right away. Abeng hexes himself as well. They've got the tombstone placed down to the ground as well. Palos in the front line. The PL getting targeted and PL just getting nuked down. The stuns are there. They got everything they need. Palos dead. Shanks to follow. You've got no more damage. And that's GG. Hakori to tie the series up. And we're going to the final map of the series to decide who goes to the grand finals. Well, Corey really loved these lineups when you want to stand and play around one hero. In the last game, it was the Veto, and they could never get him ahead. They could never get to play around him. He's always on his side before it. Pudge might be vulnerable, but I just don't see uh, Pelos being caught off guard. He, he got caught. Make a fight there, or at least prevent them from quelling all of them down. Beautiful hook from Pelos onto Gardic. He's trying to run away, flying and soaring only to have her wings clipped for Bob to pick up a first blood. Absolutely beautiful hook coming in from Palos. Uh, three runes for Hakori, but considering that it was a Lash that got the first... Just missed the second one in the lane. Abeng again with the slow. Telecar with the toss and... Tramp Protector is going to get hit by Malefist. Maybe a kill Fairy for Corey. Fairy Fire will leave him alive for a bit longer, but this tiny smacks this tree in the back. Turns him into logs on the ground, and that is going to be the first kill for Hakori, scored in the top lane. This is the one that you hate playing against whatever you have, so Execration, I think they're going to be somewhat okay losing the lane, though for now it, it looks a bit too much because Palos only has 4 CS. Revile. Palos is not enjoying his time. Oh, mid lane kill. Analog lands himself into the split earth from Leshrac and Bob with his second kill already. He's got his boots, or his boots money is now secured with that kill. And Lumiere doesn't want to intervene, but he would want to right now. However, can he get the kill onto Shanks? The tower is helping him out, but the Grave Chill keeps the distance. And Tino, this smart, this smart way to build this hero. Meanwhile, in the top lane, Palos very low. Another Malefist tick. The heal is Gone? not enough. The urn burns him down. Vitaly decides to change his item build from the casual Wraith Pact build into getting himself an urn for that extra mono regen. You need to do so even with the little things. Here we go. Two points in Edict. Watching this tower Stop. slowly start to take a hit. Abang in trouble again. He's trying to battle it out, but he wants Palos to get into the action. But again, he's just not getting close enough. And Bob TP's in. But what does he TP to? There's nothing going on anymore. Bottom lane, though. Lumiere under the tower. Tino and Shanks not getting the chance to hit him. He's still blurred up. And there we go. There's the jump coming out. 
with the help of Analog. Tino is about to drop, and this will be an important kill for Lumiere, but is the slows going to do enough work for him? Another dagger available, and there we have it. Analog to take the kill. Usually when the uh, mid laner TPs, he wants to get a kill, or has fallen, and this is what they were afraid of. So they need Analog to be able to dive this, uh, this tree and protector so that the tower dies, and Abank being level 4 makes him an easy target. Yep, and now he notices that he's going to be in trouble as the Eidolon starts to target him. Analog here, Swashbuckle misses, but doesn't matter. He's actually stuck in the trees. And they're going to have to send not? a scout in front first. And the Avalanche will finish him off. Meanwhile, looking at the mid lane, they are putting some pressure onto Gardic. But they're TP into the top lane now. And Execration for the return. And a lot of traffic on their way right now. The is going to be killed under the tower. And Analog going to get the roll out. He will buy time for Vitaly to disengage. Palos hooking time. There's the bird to land. There's a Rolling Thunder in. He's in an impossible curve between the wall but secretion good stun on the oligar analog trying to intervene the bloodstone heal there from leshrak he's getting a lot of spell life steal out for all the damage he deals and this is the scary part about playing a core lesh is that this guy will run at you with all the force that he has pango gonna get stunned up by shanks and guarding in the trees he's gonna have to use the curse but he might just end up falling in the arms of Kalos with Shanks with the stun. Gardic the fall. Two kills for Execration who could keep on going here. They just used Diabolic Edict as well in this tower. There's no glyph. Nice move coming out from Shanks there just to move a little bit to the side. Not to get caught by the curse and that just gains them another kill. So not much but uh, you get an extra kill. Maybe not. Roshan is going down at a very good pace here. There is a Winter Wyvern right next to the pit, though. And Shanks gets the stun just they in time. Him. They can stun lock him down. They don't even need to just burst him. If he did get there undetected, uh, even if this ward was here, if he did come from a different direction, maybe he could have interrupted Rose for a good curse. But right now, it's going to be ages for Bob. Where the Hokori play right now? The vision of Execration is amazing on the top lane. And on the bottom lane, Hokori cannot... But you cannot forget about the late game potential of Hokori's lineup. So Execration, they're not really on a timer, but they know things are going to get harder. Definitely have tools to fight against them, as you can see here. The Olicur will get the last hit as they kill off the Nyx Assassin. There is also a curse in the top lane. The birds are killing their master. And here comes Lumiere, but the TP is kicking in from Bob, so they have to back out. Birds don't uh, TP break on blur, the wrong bird. Nah, they don't, but TP on the wrong bird. If uh, if Bob TP'd on the right bird, maybe they continue the chase. Bottom lane? Yeah, just Palos maybe. Oh, Palos is dead. Okay. That's a bit surprising. Uh, th Bob? That wasn't even a black hole being used. And now onto Bob, Lumiere, trying to get rid of the Aegis here. But Lumiere's fighting for his life. Gardic's body blocking Made a mistake. him. Oh. oh, the savior ends up being the nuisance. You killed Palos, but you just lost your carry on the other side of the... So that Lumiere lives. That's the best we can do. They're going for the initiation. They've got Lumiere stunned up. Bob is making his way with the top of like Edict. And into Gardic's arms. Gardic is going to be there with a the curse. Again, Lumiere trying to squeeze his way through. Onto the only court. Trying to TP away by the raw damage. Oh, no. So close. So close. But just Even not enough. Even him away. He even tossed him away. It looked like the stench was gone, but it lingered just enough. Attempt number two. They will try for the other side. Okay, one side didn't work. Let's go from the other. They know how Execration are positioning, so this does make sense. If they have a ward, they can place it on the hill, and it could be a good fight for them. Let's see how they, they pop the right background. in the creep wave, though. They're very close. Gardic, especially. He's been spotted. And Palos, quick reaction. There comes the Vitali. Doesn't get the black hole off, though. They're stacked up, but the stuns are there. Palos has already finished off one. Analog pushes him away. Looking for Vitali. Does get it. But the birds are in between. And Tino cancels the black hole as soon as it gets out. And this fight is already over. There was the small chance to get a bit of a recovery fight. <laughs> And this is where the Visage is now at his uh, utmost strongest. He's got the Armor Corruption talent for the for the hero and the bird. So that's minus three. AC gives you that nice extra minus five. Plus more armor for your, for your team. And uh, 
they don't really rely on Minus Armor in this draft, but it definitely does help them out. Now they really need some kills. And Palos, his ulti will get cancelled. Lumiere jumping on Palos, but the stun comes out as well. And he doesn't even get to BKB. The biggest issue for this fight here with Lumiere not even getting to Black King Bar as he jumps in. But Sally dies to Tino on the side. And a Corey, they're in shambles. Execration are diving tier four towers. They want guarding. They want everyone. Make it a team wipe. Execration to run them down. Hakori knew that they were not going to be getting any more items. All of the big items that they could get came out. Level 18 on the PA, impossible to get. It would take too much time. And they... Carved they are on this side. These same items on their queue for who knows how long. Maybe six, seven minutes without making a single bit of progress where Execration has been getting everything that they want. Shanks will stun the Oliker on the high ground. Bob is charging in. Lumiere gets the initiation now with the VKB. There is the Bloodstone, but he's got no targets to hit. They're all magic immune, so less shrap will fall. The Oliker coming up with the buyback as well. Shanks is on the high ground. Does get the ult into the air, so he will dodge the dagger. Black hole only onto Tino and the birds, but it is a worthy one because they finally get themselves some kills. And Palos looking for more. Lumiere's got the BKB, but Palos does. There's the curse. They're trying to kite him out. Big success coming in as well. Abang will come in with the ult to keep the Enigma on the spot. That's one kill. Palos for the second. Toss from the Oliker, but slowly rotted down by Palos, and they're hunting for more. Blink Dagger onto the low ground. Looking for Gardic, looking for Analog, maybe even Lumi. The BKB now. The Olker smoke will pop. And catches actually Bob in the tree line. While well, Shanks is on the other side. Dino's coming in as well. The Yules will keeping him in place. And with annihilism. He will annihilate. This uh this tiny in Vitaly. He could go for a black hole. He will. Tino's in it as well, but the tree is there for the cancel. Palos gets sniped out by the dagger. And Tino's about to return from the grave as Bob will finish off Vitaly. Analog doing a lot of work at the back line, but PA is not in the fight anymore. Analog needs to find a way out. Bob is alone. And they will go all the way out to Bob, and he's got Aegis. And he's doing as much work as he can for his team to soon arrive and help him out. Okay, Bob doesn't care that he's alone. <laughs> he doesn't mind. He's a, he's a tough cookie to crack. And luckily for them, they do have some buybacks, but they have to start the fight now. And here comes Lumiere with the hook. He does get the jump out to safety. They got the toss on Bob at the same time. Look at the ball. Look at the life steal on this guy when he deals damage. He doesn't worry about a vessel charge on him. Like, what does this vessel thing even do? I don't feel it. I don't see it. Melee down, down to the rain tracks. Way too much heal on Bob. They they just can't do the damage. They still have the BKB on the PA. And Lumiere is trying to find an opening. Analog is going to be rushing in. Bob is right there. Four seconds on Aegis. The timer might down. just be perfect for them. But he is now out. He's got the region up as well. And he's fully healed up. Palos does have Lumiere in his hands. His BKB is about to run out as well. Vitaly down. Lumiere is alone. Gardic down. Lumiere all alone. And that is the end of this series. Execration to the grand finals as they knock out the TI team Hakori. Uh, so it is going to be a full Southeast Asia uh, Grand Finals, so Southeast Asia fans should be happy. Yep. At least uh, at least the team from their region will be winning the uh, the BTS Pro Series Season 12 here. But I have to say, Hakori, they, uh, they did...